Hey guys, so you got your uh, Polaris 500 engine making a clunking noise. Uh, I'm going to tear one down and show you what it takes to take it apart and show you what's going on. Okay, so this had a clunking noise in the engine. I wasn't sure at first if it was the valves making the noise, which uh, they're kind of known for. Uh, valves might need to get ground because that makes a rattling noise. Um, check out my video on how to replace a cam or a head gasket. I'll post links for it um, to show you how I got this far. But um, So I'm going to show you what I got going on here. So if I grab the clutch, watch the piston, it stops. There's nothing there. If I pull all the way up, it stops. The piston actually moves. So that tells me the piston skirt's probably uh, burnt off. When I started tearing this engine apart, I noticed the boot coming from the head to the carb was loose. So that told me it was sucking in air, making this engine run lean, and it probably Here's what I got going on so far. I got the head removed already. Um, I was able to leave the cam and the rockers all all intact. I just pulled the four bolts, they're 14 millimeter bolts, pull those out. Pull your uh, exhaust clamp off, pull this cover off, and then you, you've got your uh, timing chain gear. There's three bolts that pulls out. Pull that off. And then what I did was uh, I used something to hang up the chain so it doesn't fall into the, the block. And um, what I'm going to do next is there are four 12 millimeter bolts. Let go one here, one here, one here, and one down here. And uh, make sure you use the right socket. Let me let me show you what kind of socket I got. Use that one. More points. You want more points on it because uh, the head on uh, those bolts are this so these are the, the head bolts see how they got points on it okay so the next step is to remove the oil filter and then we've got our oiler down at the bottom here so behind the oil filter you got your uh, oilers back here this uh, two bolts that come out unhook from the or from the jug and then uh, pull four bolts and that should slide out and then once again we'll be hanging on uh, the chain so I'm gonna do that now but uh, before you start any of this of course make sure you drain your coolant and your oil uh, depending how far down you plan on tearing this engine down uh, you probably won't have to drain the oil but probably be a good idea okay so here we go this is probably going to be a little bit of a mess because I did not drain the oil. It's, I'll do that later. I think it's kind of funny because, uh, look at that, no oil came out. <laughs> There's a date on there, 419. This thing's been sitting for a year, so like I changed the oil and probably wasn't too long after that that uh, leaned out the engine. Okay, I'll take these two uh, bolts off for the oilers, get them out of the way. Okay, and we'll take uh, those four bolts off, 12 millimeter, and then. Uh, <coughs> On the other side of the jug, there's two little 8 millimeter bolts on the outside. Alright, so now I'll pull the bolts. This is what I'm talking about there. Just grabbing a magnet and pulling them out. They suggest that you put those bolts back in the same position you took them out in. So on this side, Pull your radiator hose, 
here and then it'll be on the jug here so you have to pull that out and then the jug will be ready to remove all right here we go pulling this up and out oh yeah there's nothing left of that piston jug looks good. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. Minimal scoring. I could probably uh, use a honing stone and hone that out. There is nothing left of that piston. So like I said, the, uh, the guy ran it lean and it fried the piston skirts. So I'll be replacing that piston. That did a lot of damage. Um, not quite sure internally what kind of damage is done. I'm going to inspect that. I might have to um, take the engine out and uh, split the cases just to make sure there's no metal in there. I guess the next thing would be to do is I'm going to take uh, this little C-clip off and then pop that piston out. I don't know if you can see back there but way behind this bearing there's a bunch of uh, piston skirt stuffed behind it. The engine won't rotate. So what I'm going to do is probably tear this engine out, split the case sides, clean everything up, inspect my gears, put this thing back together, order a new piston, and uh, I think that's all it's going to need. It's just a piston and a good cleaning. So there you have it. So I managed to get the engine out, and I found... Uh, obvious pieces of the piston skirt uh, actually it wasn't uh, too bad of a job and once you get your uh, clutch covers off there's a bolt there or nut that goes there I should say two bolts here and then disconnect your uh, stator and your positive and negative to the engine uh, it was uh, pretty simple you know once you got your uh, clutches off and your clutch cover you know you also had your hoses to disconnect. The rest was actually pretty easy. So if you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to uh, leave them and I will get back to you. Until um, next time.